Hi there, and welcome back to The Lisa Nichols Show, where I share the tools that we all want to live the life that we can achieve, to have the joy, to have the love, to have the energy, the lessons, the blessings. I love reading your comments. I sit in bed sometimes and I read your comments and I smile. I feel like we're in an exchange. We're just having this rich, delicious, dynamic dialogue. I love seeing you engage with each other. Uh, I love seeing the likeness. Hey, I had that happen in my life. Hey, this is what's occurred in mine. Yes, Lisa, I so needed to hear this today. I love seeing that. So please continue, continue to comment. It means the world, not only to me, but to other people who need to know that they're not alone. Today, I'm excited to share a sneak peek at one of my favorite, favorite speaking techniques. I mean, literally, I think this is one of the 17 speaking techniques when I teach the science of speaking. This definitely is the one that's kicked open the most doors. And I learned it from a gentleman years ago, and it really has changed my life. It really has changed my life. Um, and it's allowed me to, um, it's allowed me to build a powerful, powerful, uh, some people call it an empire. Some people call it a business. Um, I like to call it a mobile ministry. <laughs> um, but this technique has been one of the single most impactful techniques that I've learned. And I initially learned it from a gentleman by the name of Joel Roberts. Uh, and I'm grateful for the lesson that I learned. He calls it the dip. I've expanded it a bit and changed it a bit and morphed it a bit like any student does. And I call it the valley technique. And it's easy to remember um, because you can just think of a V, right? And if you think of a V, then look at the valley is the bottom of the V and both top points are the mountain tops uh, of the valley. I'll have my team at the graphic so you can follow along just so you could see. So there's three edges, like I mentioned on a V, right? The top part of the V in the Valley is who you are now, your credibility. I like to call it the big you. Now, if you want to impact someone, you want to be impactful on video, you want to be impactful live, you want to be impactful on social media. You want to be impactful in an interview. You want to be impactful on a podcast. You want to be impactful in print. You want to be impactful live when you speak. I want you to not just learn this, but I want you to master it. I invite you. Now, you may have already heard me teach about this. Like, oh yeah, I know about the valley. I didn't ask you, do you know about the valley? I'm asking you, do you know how to do the valley every single time? It's the reason why I received 9,782 emails within 72 hours of being on the Oprah show. Yes, I said 9,782 emails within 72 hours of being on the Oprah show. Now at the time, it was my unconscious competence and I didn't even know what I was doing. And then I was on Larry King and it was live and I received thousands and thousands and thousands of emails after being on Larry King a few weeks later. I still didn't know what I was doing. I got to tell you, I went for years on the Larry King show, on the Oprah show, on um, the Steve Harvey show. By that time I figured it out. <laughs> By that time I figured it out. But I didn't know for so many years what I was doing that was creating this stickiness to me. Like literally, my father nicknamed me the Pie Piper. You are the Pie Piper. Wherever you go, you bring a tribe. I was like, well, what is that? How do I learn that? This was it. So I'm going to tell you, there are many other techniques I have to teach you in the science of speaking that would help you. This is one of those cornerstones. So as I was saying, the top of the V, right, is the big U. So it's where you build your credibility. No shrinking here. If you're really, really humble and you really reserved, this is sort of where it will become challenging for you. Some people, they really can go in their valley easy, right? Most of us, for some, it's difficult. For others, it's difficult to actually share the big you, your credibility. This is where you share your highlights. This is where you share your experiences, your accolades, your achievements, your credentials. And it can't seem like it's a bio, like, or a resume. So I graduated from, and I know it's, 
You say it because you're going to take them into the valley. So you want to say, even though you want to kind of give a little clue that you're about to take them somewhere else, even though I have seven bestsellers and I've spoken and inspired over 86 million people. And I've been able to travel and be on every single continent that could be populated by man, even though I've generated over $80 million in business in, in the self training and self development industry in my company over the last 27 years, even though that's who I am. You see how I just gave you the credentials inside of a, even though, or you can say what you may or may not know about me, what you may or may not know about me is that I'm a best-selling author times seven books. What you may or may not know about me is that I have been featured on every, um, major national platform. What you may or may not know about me, um, is I have lost over a million dollars and I've earned over 88 million. But what I'm sure you don't know about me is notice how the big you, you, you say it in such a way where it leads into the valley. So it's not a bio. It's not spoken as if it's a bio. It's not spoken as if it is a, um, if it is a, um, resume it's spoken as if it's a conversation that's about to lead into the valley. All of that, that I just share with you. And I just use my, my experience, my life as an example to give you, you do yours and don't compare yours to mine, right? Comparison as Benjamin Franklin says, comparison is, and will always be the thief of all your joy, right? If you, let's say if you have an MBA or you have a BA or you're, you're in the, you're in the academia, like I'm not, I don't come from an academia background, but if you come from an academia background and you want to speak to your hours in learning, I wouldn't say, uh, what you may not, what you may or may not know about me is that I have an MBA. I would say, um, what most people are impressed about is that I've spent over 36,000 hours studying. Now, how do you get to that number? You calculate your years in college. You calculate your years in the work. I've spent over 5,000 hours behind a camera. Even though you have different backgrounds, you want to be able to find a way to capsulize that right now at all of that's the big you now at the base is your Valley. So now where most people, um, go wrong who learn on my campus is they think that the Valley represents the lowest point of their entire life and all the low points put together. Let me just say this, the Valley in and of itself, the whole Valley is about an incident. So the big you is your life, but the low point is an incident. I'm doing this because that's the Valley, the low part of the Valley, the low part of the Valley is a moment in time. It's a, one of the lowest points that's relevant to the topic that you're speaking on. So it's a topic relevant Valley. Why do I say that? Because if you've lived long enough, hashtag anything over 10 years of age, <laughs> you got valleys, you got multiple valleys. There's a Valley. When someone passed away, there's a Valley. When you were heartbroken, there's a Valley. When you were depressed, there's a like, we got valleys. It's what makes the Valley, the mountaintops feel good is that we understand that life is like this, right? It's like, it, it just does that. That happens. And so you want to make sure that you speak to a moment. What was, what was the hard part? What was, what was the challenging moment? The struggle? What was that look like? The undeveloped you, the confused you, the self doubting you. I have a lot of people, they, so, so this is what makes, this is what makes the Valley feel so amazing. So most people, what most people know, I'll do the top part again, but I'll take you into the Valley. What most people know about me is that I have an international training and development company and that I've been on Oprah and Larry King and Steve Harvey, that I have seven bestsellers that I run a multi-million dollar business. But what they don't know about me is that in 1997, I was diagnosed as clinically depressed and I was prescribed Prozac. I was sad. I was really, really, really sad. I just come out of an abusive relationship and I didn't trust Lisa. And I was angry at Lisa because Lisa didn't only put herself in danger. She put her three-year-old son in danger. 
Notice how I picked a moment and it balances all that height and then you go down. Now, the reason why I chose that as my topic is because I'm teaching on transformation, how to transform your life, right? So a valley is a moment when you were confused, when you were self-doubting, when you were scared, when something didn't go right. And then the second top of the point, that last part, that's the V, right? That's what shifted. What lesson did you learn? What, what, what touched you? What did you begin to do differently? What's your purpose? What's your why? It, it, this is a, this is just a moment that shows this is why I'm so committed to do what I do. So let me take you all the way in and all the way out. Right? So, um, what most people don't know, I'll just start in the Valley. What most people don't know is that I was clinically depressed. I had lost Lisa in 1997, 1998, 1999. I was fighting for my life. I was fighting for my, I was fighting for my own oxygen while working to keep Jelani protected from my sadness, which is why I'm so committed now to touch as many people as I can going out. Let's, I'm going to the top now. I'm so committed to help transform as many lives as I can to walk as many people through their dark days, to walk as many people into their brightest light again and again and again. It's why I'm willing to travel the world. It's why I'm willing to put my elbows up and my chin down. It's why I'm willing to stand in front of you again and again and again. It's why I'm willing to shoot video after video after video after video after video. It's why I'm willing to sacrifice time at home with my family to be on the road to touch you because I know that where there's hope and where there's desire, transformation can also live. It's on its way. So there you have it. I just took you from the top to the bottom, back to the top again. So just as a review, the top part of the V is your credibility. It's the big U. It's what earns your credentials. The center, the bottom is a low moment in your life, hopeless. Uh, powerless, frustrated, and the more detailed you can be, 1997. The colors that you can help us see makes it more powerful. And then the top part of the V, the second top part, is your why, your commitment. And then that leads into your lesson. You want to play with that valley, and when people meet you, they need to meet that valley soon after meeting you. Don't wait till the end of the conversation. I think when I look at some of the things that have gone viral on YouTube about me, it's been, it's been me opening up and sharing that Valley and stirring that soul in the Valley and then bringing them out with the passion and the conviction. And so this is just a taste of how the Valley technique works. I hope that, uh, that you get value. Uh, we go even deeper inside of our program. So I can't give away everything, but I gave you a lot. Listen, I gave you something to chew on. Your stomach should be going like, oh, that tastes good, Lisa. I want some more. Yes, get your knife, get your fork, get your plate, and let's eat together always. Uh, I, I, no matter what you're doing, you don't have to be a platform speaker. You want to open your mouth and make a difference. You want to open your mouth and make an impact. You want to open your mouth and be freaking unforgettable. Like, I'm not trying to be good. I ain't even trying to be great. I'm going for unforgettable. I want my life's contribution to be unforgettable. And I think you want the same. So remember that this show is not just a monologue. It's a dialogue. We are in a delicious conversation. You should know me by now. I want to talk with you. I'm not trying to just dictate to you. I'm not trying to lecture to you. I'm not a dic dictator, nor my lecturer. I'm your sister in the journey. And I'd love to hear from you. What was your biggest aha from this particular episode? What was the part you're like, Oh yeah, I got it. Like what, how did it leave you feeling? How did it leave you feeling just hearing my real story? Cause everything I told you was real. The big part of me and that low part, I was really prescribed Prozac. I was really clinically depressed. I was really struggling for my life. All of that was real. How did it feel to hear that? How did it feel to have that connection? And more importantly, how does it feel for you to understand the path or get the path? Now we got to do some work together for you to master it, but don't worry. We got time. Eat your Wheaties, hydrate and take your B12. And 
If you're not subscribed, why are you not subscribed? Hello? Leave me a comment below. Be sure to subscribe and look out for more amazing content in the future. Why? Because this is your home and we are your tribe and I am your sister in prosperity and in possibility. And when I say that I believe in you and that I love you, it's not because I don't have anything else to say. It's not because it's my tagline and my signature clothes. It's not. It's because I do. I believe in you and I love you. And I'll see you real soon.